to be included with this group as well. That's great, but we should definitely not spend a lot of time for us. Welcome everybody to the Apartmentalized Pre-Conference Planning Webinar. I'm your host, Clark Everett here at NAA headquarters. Uh, we're gonna hold momentarily until a few more people have the opportunity to show up. Thanks for dialing in. And welcome again, if you're just tuning in, this is the Apartmentalized Pre-Conference Planning Webinar. We're delighted to have you join us today. Um, I'm here with several of my colleagues. Uh, my name is Clark Ebert. I'm the Director of Conference Education. This will be my 10th Apartmentalized, and I'm joined here by several colleagues. Megan, say hello to the folks. No, I'm on meeting. My name is Megan Patterson. I'm a meetings and education specialist. Thanks, Megan. Diane? There we go. Hi. Sorry. My name is Diane Bombard. I'm the director of ed, uh, meetings for NAA. Nice to meet y'all. And I guess that leaves me, Clark. I'm Nicholas Tovar. I'm the AVP of Business Development, and I'm a Sagittarius. Uh, always save the best for last, Nick. That's my motto. Um, <laughs> I, uh, th these are some folks who have worked very hard on the back, uh, the behind the scenes to prepare Apartmentalize. Uh, we're super excited. I'll just say that uh, we have reached our registration goals. Uh, and this is, will be the largest event in NAA history with more than 6,000 full paid registrants. Um, and registrations continue to come in. Uh, we are delighted and excited and uh, have uh, developed a really wonderful experience for everyone that's involved. Um, but before I dive into some, uh, some details today, I would be remiss if I did not take the opportunity to thank our outstanding sponsors from our supplier community. Um, uh, on your screen, we'll qu quickly scroll who those folks are. These are our strategic partners, our premier partners, our champion partners, and our industry partners. Uh, uh, huge uh, buckets of gratitude to all these folks who help underwrite, uh, apartmentalize, and make it such a successful event. Um, today, I would like to uh, lay out some information for you. Um, we're about one week out from, uh, from uh, convening in Atlanta, and my goal is to give you an overview of everything that is available for you so that you can begin to create your own experience. So uh, we're going to make some uh, comments about how to prepare before you get there. I'm going to give you an overview of the education session. Uh, uh, program. Nick is going to talk about the NAA exposition. Uh, we're also going to look at networking events and special events. Uh, lastly, we'll look at the facilities and some guest services that are available to you. And at the very end, if we have time, we'll take some questions. Um, before you go, uh, there are some things that you can prepare to do, and Megan's going to tell us about that. Thanks, Clark. Um, so as Clark just said, uh, today we're going to give you some ideas on the best ways to maximize your experience while you're at the conference. Uh, this is a three day packed um, event with a lot of activities and sessions. So we just want to make sure you're, you are as prepared as possible when you get there. All right, so a few tips to prepare for the conference. Number one, would be to try to type any loose ends at your um, job before you come to the conference. We want you to be as relaxed and, and stress-free as possible. That way you can really take in everything that the conference has to offer. Number two, uh, there's no dress code for this event. However, we do suggest that you wear comfortable shoes. Um, the convention center is five levels. 
And sometimes you might have a session on level two and then have to go all the way to um, level four. So best to wear comfortable shoes. And then also to remember that uh, in the, some of the session rooms, the temperature can fluctuate. So bringing a light jacket might be um, a good option for you. Uh, number three would be, would, would be to bring business cards. There's roughly gonna be about 11,000 attendees at this event. And uh, we want you to be able to, to meet everybody and, and get everybody's information. Um, another option would be to, when you log into the NAA app, there is this, a section where you can share your contact, contact information with um, any exhibitor or any of the attendees that you meet. And then number four uh, would be to make sure your uh, phone and your laptop are charged because you will be using them a lot. Uh, we do offer, um, grab and go power packs, which will allow you to stay connected with the grab and go phone charger, but they do require a um, subscription to use those. Um, and so if you forget everything that I just said, I would suggest the one thing that you do do is uh, download the Apartmentalize 2023 app. Um, this app puts the entire conference in your hand um, it allows you to make connections with others. You can view the schedule. You can customize um, your own personal schedule. And it has gives you access to all the information um, of the, from the conference. Um, again, you can also uh, access the PowerPoint files, access the session handouts, take notes during the sessions, or take notes on information of um, any of the exhibitors or suppliers that you meet. You can participate in the live polling ses uh, sessions and also answer the uh, session and speaker surveys throughout the app as well. And then lastly, don't forget to follow us on all our social uh, media channels. You can access all of them through the NAA app. And we also ask that you use the hashtag apartmentalize. Lots of social media channels to connect on. Um, and that's great advice to uh, dress in layers, bring comfortable shoes. Um, and business dress really is like uh, business casual, um, maybe more on the casual side. Uh, uh, but uh, also you should calculate the fact that Atlanta can be super hot in June and uh, you can walk into an air conditioned space. So there's like temperatures can change very quickly. So uh, dressing in layers, take care of your skin, your feet and uh, actually rest up before you go. Um, I'd like to move forward and talk a little bit about the education program. So I, as the director of education, obviously think that education is the core component of apartmentalize. Um, there's so much to learn and some tough decisions to make because there are eight uh, time blocks that you have to make one choice within each of those eight, because you can only be in one place at one time. So um, we're going to give you an overview of the structure and give you an idea of how to start making a plan for yourself. But before I dive in, once again, I would like to thank some very, very vital volunteers. These are folks uh, from the industry who made up the 2023 Education Advisory Board. Um, these folks put in a lot of volunteer hours. They help set the course and the direction for the content of the program. And they also uh, reviewed more than 320 proposals that people submitted um, to earn uh, uh, spots on the program. So thank you very much to those folks. Um, and in, uh, by the numbers, uh, our education program is it's pretty robust. Uh, it's definitely uh, something for everybody. We have three general sessions. We also have three game changers. There are eight open space sessions. I'll talk about those in a little more detail a little farther down the road. There are 88 education sessions that vary between 50 and 60 minutes long. There are 12 express education sessions that happen in the exposition. And we have a whopping 279 speakers that will contribute to the content on the program this year. So uh, sliding all the way back to the top, let's look at the general sessions. We have some amazing people lined up for you. On Wednesday, uh, we have Derek Kayongo, who is uh, the creator of the SOAP project. He helps people in third world nations um, with uh, sanitation practices by partnering with hotels and um, uh, who donate uh, SOAP to the program. Uh, on Thursday, we have uh, Olympic skier 
and uh, female uh, winter sport legend, Lindsey Vaughn, uh, who we're very excited to hear from. And on Friday, our grand keynote is um, the creator of Ted Lasso, Mr. Jason Sudeikis, also of Saturday Night fame. Um, uh, it's very timely. Uh, the last episode of the last season of Ted Lasso, I think, is happening this week. And then we'll get to uh, hear from Jason uh, next week. And uh, Bill Rancic also will be coming back again this year to MC all of our general sessions so that he can tie the experience together for the audience from day to day. Um, we also have some other paid speakers that, uh, that uh, are game changer speakers. On Wednesday, we're featuring Jess Pettit, who is an expert on diversity and inclusion and how to be a really good advocate for other people, how to advocate for others on your team. On Thursday, uh, Brandon Fleming um, is a distinguished Ivy School graduate who advocates for, um, for mentorship to help grow workforce. Uh, and that's something that we all really need in the apartment industry. And then uh, lastly, uh, Princess Sarah Cul Culberson will be in the late afternoon slot on Thursday. Um, she has a really intriguing story. Um, uh, show up to be fascinated. Um, the program is pretty wide. We have uh, 18 learning areas that we try to focus on. At Apartmentalize, I think of this as the meeting of the tribe and we wanna make sure we have something for everybody. So these are the uh, are sort of the focus areas that, that we plan around. Um, I think it's worth noting these because you can use the app or the My NAA Planner to sort by these topics and they can really help identify sessions that will be valuable to you in your workplace. I'm going to walk through and give you just a really brief overview of what the education sessions look like uh, on, on a schedule over time. So on Wednesday, uh, the day really starts at 1215 officially with a block of education sessions. Um, there will be 10 to choose from. Uh, and then another set at 120, uh, which will uh, in that time block include a game changer. And, and then uh, at a third block, we'll begin at uh, 225. Um, all of those time blocks include an open space session that I mentioned before. On Thursday, we start early in the morning at 8.30 with our first block of education sessions uh, from uh, the expo opens at 11.30. So um, that also means the opening of the express education theaters that are located within the exposition. Um, there are a bunch of those that take place between 11.45 and 2.30. Those are 30 minute uh, long mm -hmm. sessions. Um, they're quick and digestible and bite-sized, right-sized. I really like those. I hope you'll check some out. And then in the afternoon, there are two more time blocks, one at 2.15 to 3.15, and again at 3.30 to 4.30. And then on Friday, we start a little bit later in the morning. Um, we start at 9 a.m. Uh, with a block of education sessions. There are uh, more express education sessions anywhere between 10 and 1.30. And the final block of education sessions go from 11 to 11.50. Express education, which I just spoke about, happens on the exposition floor. And um, there are two that run at a any given time. There's a theater A, and a theater B. And um, those, uh, you can see the timing of those here on this slide. This is a really fun, intimate way to learn. Um, these spaces are beautifully designed and fitted um, for, uh, for short uh, time block, uh, sh uh, short presentations of 30 minutes. Uh, also, another alternative learning format is open space. Um, open space is not for everybody, but it's for people who really learn best by processing and, um, and conversing peer to peer. Uh, there are eight of those. One happens in each time block. Uh, and you can see here um, that the sessions are organized um, around uh, questions to be discussed and explored. Um, you can find all the details for all these sessions um, on my NAA Center and in the app. And 
while you're having all these education experiences, whether they're express ed or breakout sessions or open space sessions, we really want your feedback. And so do um, our speakers. So um, the app, which Megan started off by telling us how essential it must, you must have the app. Uh, the app is the way to do that. Um, uh, you can submit uh, your feedback through the app for each session. Um, the app also uh, contains slide decks for each of the sessions that you're seeing. Uh, uh, it is how you respond to polls in sessions when, in, when speakers include polling. Um, the app is really gonna uh, increase your experience at Apartmentalize. And even though there's all that learning to do, there's all, and that that's sort of industry driven, there's also learning how to take care of yourself. Um, we have a series of uh, wellness programs that take place at the wellness stage, which is in a, um, in a common space on level three. Uh, and uh, those include topics such as chair yoga, meditation, sleep hygiene, and other useful self-care skills. Uh, I hope you'll take advantage of those. Those are generally 15 to 20 minutes long, yep. and they're scattered throughout uh, all three days. Exactly. So as you can see, there's a lot to choose from in the, in the, in the education program, and uh, education is only... Uh, one piece of what happens at Apartmentalize. So I'm going to turn the floor over to Nick, who's going to tell us about the exposition. Awesome. Thank you, Clark. Thank you. And yes, as Clark said, education is a really important part. But another part that goes right by it is the NAA Expo Hall. So Megan, can you go to the next slide for me? As you can see, we're open on Thursday and Friday. So if you don't have lunch plans, we hope that you're joining us on the floor. We're gonna be serving lunch every day, Thursday and Friday there at 1130. Now this lunch is brought to you by the National Suppliers Council. Um, and it can be held at any of these little uh, kind of bluish green locations that are called Expo Eats. So each one of those will have the lunch at 1130. And as you can see, Anything in the yellow towards the back of the hall here is actually uh, e like seating area. So once you grab your lunch, go ahead and feel free to walk back there or continue to walk around and meet our suppliers and our exhibitors. So as Clark said in the beginning, we broke all types of records. This actually Expo Hall is the largest that NAA has ever had. I'm imagining all the crowd going wild right now. So excuse me as I soak it all in. To date, we have close to 640 exhibitors. We have close to 1,700 10 by 10 booths sold. To give you an idea, if you came last year and you thought it was big, last year we had 553 exhibitors and 1,400 10 by 10 sold. So over close to 300 more 10 by 10s and close to 100 more exhibitors. And they are all here to see you. If you need apparel, if you need software, if you want to enter for prizes, if you want to have meaningful conversations that will help your business, the floor is where you want to be. I think Megan mentioned it earlier, bring your business cards. A lot of people are going to be able to scan your badges but we want you there. If you have the time, the best way to do this is to go to your app, take a look who's on the floor and make your scale a schedule of who you want to see. Even if it's just, you know, I really want a new software for X for my uh, apartment complex, my multifamily housing, take a look at everybody we have and make sure you mark where they are. Other than that, I encourage you to visit, uh, you know, the new, exhibitor section. We're going to have people that are new to the industry in there. We have a couple other feature areas. As I said, those Expo Eats booths where you can get your food. The new exhibitor section is going to be at the top right. And then we have the National Supplier Council meeting rooms. So if you want to learn more about the NSC and how you can work with them, or if you're on this call and you are a supplier and you want to learn how you can, can become an NSC member, please stop by booth 1851. 
And for those of you who are on the call and our NSC members, make sure you schedule a time to use our meeting rooms. You heard it right. If you have clients on the floor that you wish to have some one-on-one -on -one time, go to our uh, booth and schedule your time to meet with them. And of course, as Clark mentioned, express education. It's a very cool thing that happens on our floor, happens smack dab right in the middle. You get all those kind of mini education sessions. So you're getting to learn multiple things at once. I encourage you to visit that area. But most of all, I encourage you to spend your time wisely. Take a look at the stuff that you need and then look at stuff that you may not know you wanted, but you're gonna learn more about. Thank you, Nick. Um, that is one big WAP and expo. Um, and you really do need a strategy because like uh, you can walk from one end to the other back and forth and sort of uh, happen upon uh, uh, vendors. Um, but, uh, and, and that's, that's one way to explore, but if you have real goals that you want to accomplish, uh, you can use, uh, you, you can use in the app or the my NAA planner, you can sort by products and services and you can really target, you can really, uh, focus down on a list that's going to be super helpful to you. Absolutely, uh, Clark. And reach out to the exhibitors you want to meet with. They're going to be happy to set some time aside for you. That's an excellent tip. Thank you, Nick. Um, Megan, can you tell us a little bit about some networking opportunities? I can. We do have a lot of different networking opportunities here at this conference. One of the first being um, the welcome reception, and that'll take place on Wednesday in the Thomas Murphy Ballroom, which will be on the fifth level. And this is, like I said, another opportunity for networking and a time to meet with um, your fellow attendees and suppliers, another great opportunity to pass out your um, business cards as, as well. So this is a good one. Another opportunity is gonna be maintenance, the Maintenance Mania National Championship. Um, this will be happening at the same time as the welcome reception. So maybe find a good way to divvy up your time between maybe spending like 30 minutes at the welcome reception and then the rest of your time at Maintenance Mania. Um, this is another one of the, the highlights, I think, of the event. Um, it's an event where they recognize all the top uh, maintenance technicians in the industry. So like I said, definitely carve out some time to, to head over there and uh, cheer them on as they compete in a variety of different skill um, activities. This being my first year at Apartmentalize, this is what I'm really excited to see. So definitely uh, make sure you don't miss this. We also have a couple um, attendee lounges and work zone areas. Um, again, this is just another area where you can meet up with your colleagues, um, you know, discuss the conference, discuss the different sessions that you've been attending, or if you just, you've, you've been, you know, going to every single, event possible, you just need a, an area just to recharge and, and relax for a little bit. So we do have these available for you as well. And then um, social tables, again, um, a nice area where you can just go grab a drink with a friend and discuss the conference, discuss what you're excited to see next, discuss what sessions you've enjoyed. And again, those will be located on level four. And now another big highlight of the event is going to be the Thursday night party. This year, the party is going to be at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Uh, a ticket to this event is included if you got a full conference registration or if you purchased a Thursday one-day only pass. Um, you can also purchase additional tickets at registration for $200 each. Now you will need a wristband in order to enter uh, the stadium and that wristband you will get when you pick up your badge at registration. So make sure you don't walk away from registration without getting your badge and your wristband because um, without those you will not be able to enter and you might have to purchase another ticket. Um, the stadium is located adjacent to the um, conference center and there will be shuttles provided to take you to and from um, the stadium. So you don't have to worry about that. Now, once you've actually got your wristband and your badge and you're good to go and you actually get into the stadium, you'll have access to the field. You'll have access to the two uh, different clubs, the Delta Sky Club and the Mercedes Benz Club. And when you get in there again, networking, food, drinks, um, you can take pictures with the Falcon cheerleaders, with Freddie the Falcon, which I believe is their mascot, um, hang out with you know, the Falcon uh, drumline and um, really enjoy yourself. So this is another big highlight and definitely something I'm looking forward to. So if you've got time in your schedule, definitely don't miss um, this opportunity as well. 
That's right, Megan. No wristband, no party. Make sure but a lot of times we get people who show up the party and they haven't remembered the wristband and uh, it causes great consternation. So uh, please remember your wristband and save yourself some headache. Um, I want to tell you about some special events that uh, that uh, are highlighted that you can include in your personalized apartmentalized experience. Um, the first is uh, the excellence awards. Um, these are winners of uh, NAA's um, uh, Excellence Awards. Uh, they include some of the industry's best and brightest, both individuals and organizations, best place to work. Um, and uh, this is an event that is free. It is, uh, it, it comes, uh, anybody who has a full paid registration is eligible. It is first come first serve and it caps at 400. So if you are really um, interested, make sure you come early and claim your space. Um, that happens on Wednesday from a, at 11, which is just before the education program kicks off. Um, uh, plenty of time for you to go in and um, soak in uh, some of the industry's most highly accomplished people and places to work. Um, also, it's a really good idea to keep in mind that one of those awards is 20 in their 20s. These are people who, um, who uh, are range in age from 20 to 29 um, and are uh, industry rising stars within the industry. Um, they have, they'll be identified with, uh, with a badge. If you happen to see one of these folks, introduce yourself and make them feel wel uh, welcome and include them in your networking efforts. Um, they're some of the industries. Uh, new faces, and um, they are the future of our industry. Please make them feel welcome. Uh, there's a second page. Uh, you can get to see um, all 20 of the 20 in the 20s. Um, all right. Um, I also want to give you an idea about what the facility looks like. Uh, and how to navigate um, uh, moving around and some of the services that are available to you. And the service that I'll start with is the NAA HQ booth. Uh, it's located on the second floor. And the, um, the booth is really a chance for you to talk with NAA staff. Uh, it helps you understand the value of your membership in NAA. Um, and it's a really vital uh, a part of the apartmentalized experience. There are photo ops there. There are free giveaways, including the highly coveted and apartmentalized t-shirt. Um, make sure you stop by there. Some hours available on uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Yeah. Um, I'd like to talk a little bit about the World Congress um, Convention Center, the Georgia World Congress Center. So I, I know that this is a, a small picture with a lot of information on it, but uh, the high level things that I want you to take away is that we're in building B, which is that middle section and uh, NAA or apartmentalized occupies that entire um, part of the building, all of building B. It's five floors and it is stacked. Um, so some of your travel between events will be vertical transportation. There are escalators, elevators, and staircases to help you with that. Um, the expo is on, on the bottom floor of the stack. It is below grade and um, it takes up the entire floor plate of the, um, of the entire building. It's massive. Um, education is stacked on levels two, three, and four. Um, also, there's the Thomas Murphy Ballroom, which is sort of, uh, it's in level five and, and it is in a parallel stack. It, it doesn't quite line up um, uh, with the floor plates that uh, uh, in the same way that the education rooms do. Um, and oh, the other thing you should know is that registration is on the ground floor. Um, it's, uh, it's on the ground level and um, it's adjacent to the main entrance of the World Congress building. Uh, there's a DJ spinning, so just um, follow the beats to go get your badge and your, um, and your party bracelet. Don't forget the party bracelet. All right, 
Uh, this is so much information. Um, there's a recording of this that uh, we'll send to you directly. It'll be made available on the website too. So if you if details are flying by your head, don't worry about it. Um, uh, there's a way to catch up and, and go back and find things that you missed. Um, the Thomas Murphy Ballroom I had mentioned, it's sort of, on, it's on level five. It's the one thing, the, the one location on level five that we're using and there's a bunch of programming that's going on there. So the welcome reception happens there on Wednesday and maintenance mania. So those things happen at the same time. They're also co-located. Like they're all happening in the same space at the same time. So uh, you just need to find the Thomas Murphy ballroom on level five to dive into that. Um, it's also where the excellence award happens. And then on Thursday and Friday, it turns into an education session room. So uh, some of your education sessions might be there on Thursday and Friday. Um, Megan, can you tell us about uh, some of the attendee services that are gonna help enhance people's experience? Yep, so the um, few things that we do offer um, are complimentary Wi-Fi, um, four different information counters, luggage check and storage lockers, which will be located in the registration area that Clark just described. Um, the first aid, mother's lounge, uh, grab and go power packs I mentioned earlier, professional headshot center, definitely make time to stop by there. And then the social tables that I mentioned earlier. Those are all great things. And if you go into the app under recreation, um, you'll find the exact hours for each of these events um, and locations. Um, then first aid. So first aid is going to be located on level one between uh, B, the B2 and the B3 entrance. Um, and if, um, if anything happens, you need a medical um, assistance, call the Georgia World Congress Center uh, Department of Public Safety at the number on your screen. That information too is also in the mobile app. Thank you, Megan. Megan. I'm going to ask my colleague Diane to tell you about the next few pieces of information. So Atlanta has this great service, the Downtown Atlanta Ambassador Force, which they've um, put together. You'll see them riding around the city in their uh, red and blue outfits. They um, will be on bicycles or these segways, and they patrol the downtown area between 7 a.m. and 12 a.m., um, and they're really there to assist uh, convention goers, tourists in any way they can. If you have a question, you know, where to eat breakfast or where to go here, they can answer that. If you are concerned about um, walking from your hotel to dinner um, at night, they'll, you can call this number on the screen um, or text and someone will come to your hotel and walk you to the restaurant and they will come back and walk you back to your restaurant. Um, they are there to answer your questions, provide directions, um, suggest any activities if you've got some extra time before or after the conference. And as I said, they'll accompany you on foot to your destination. So please feel free to utilize them. You will see them roaming around, but they also have an information booth at the intersection of Andrew Young International Boulevard and Peach Street, which is directly um down from the convention center through Centennial Park and right by the Westin. Um, but yeah, take this information um, and utilize them if you uh, are looking for something like that. Hotels, uh, we will be having hotel shuttles um, from the hotel. There are six walkable hotels to the Georgia World Congress Center. Um, and all the other hotels we will providing will be providing shuttles. Those walk hotels are literally like four or five blocks. They're um, two to seven minute walk from the um, Georgia World Congress Center. We will um, be providing a um, schedule that is on the app. Again, everything is on the app. Download the app. Um, the schedule will start on shuttle schedule will start on Tuesday at 7:30 a.m. and continue through Friday after the general session. Um, and on the flyer that you'll find on the app, it'll tell you exactly where to pick up those shuttles from your hotel. We will also have um, shuttles to the Thursday night party from your hotel, and that information is included on the app as well. 
And lastly, um, we are not planning for, well, we are planning, but we do not foresee uh, protesters, but we want to prepare. So if there are um, any protesters that come to apartmentalize, please do not engage with them, um, alert any staff members, and avoid the area if possible. Um, as we say, we are not expecting anything. We are we have staff that monitor that. We haven't seen anything that indicate that we are expecting it, but um, just those are a few pointers, so. Thanks, Diane. We live in a really chaotic world. We and do. It's, it's just nice. Uh, it's good to be prepared, and uh, NAA has your safety and your well-being and um, at, at top of mind. And uh, we want to make sure that you know that we're prepared to take care of you when you show up at Apartments Alliance. Um, we have some time for some questions. Uh, I think we have about four or five minutes remaining. So if you have time and want to uh, ask a question or listen uh, to the answers, continue to hang out with us. Um, I, I'm looking at some questions that are coming in. First and foremost, uh, there will be uh, copies of uh, this recording as well as the slide deck uh, made available to anybody who signed up for this webinar. Um, they will also be included in any um, attendee emails that happen between now and when we hit the ground in Atlanta. So all this information will be retrievable. Um, someone asked me if there's a way to filter sessions by type um, uh, on the app. And yes, yes, there is. You can, uh, there are many different ways to filter all of the events. Um, how many attendees do we anticipate hosting? So as event planners, we, we track two numbers. One is sort of total uh, warm bodies, and we expect that to be in excess of 11,000. And for full paid attendees, it's in excess of 6,000. Uh, does anybody, if anybody else has any questions, can you please type them into, um, actually, I'm looking at the chat box. Let me open up the Q&A box. Oh, actually, I'm in the Q&A box, excuse me. Uh, and anybody on my team? Yes. Do you not see them? Um, I'm, I'm asking, asking about the six walk, six walkable hotel. The, the what? The six walkable hotels. Okay. What are the six walkable hotels? Uh, let, I know it's the Omni, the Glen, Home Two Suites. Um, let me pull up the flyer real quick, and I will get back to you on that. Go on to another question. I'll come back. Okay, mute, uh, mute yourself. <laughs> I will. Um, somebody is asking if there are tote bags or should you bring your own. Um, I we don't track who is giving uh, uh, who, who is is bringing what giveaways, but I've always seen tote bags available on the show floor. I mean, if you feel very uh, strongly about being able to tote your um, your collectibles, I would pack my own bag, but um, I personally would not. I, I feel very confident that I could find that on the show floor if I was looking for that. Um, as someone's asking about the complimentary Wi-Fi being available on the show floor, and I believe the answer to that is yes. Um, Janice uh, Zemanski is asking, is there cost to lunch on Wednesday and Thursday? The answer, Thursday, uh, definitely lunch is free in the expo. As lunch well as is, Friday. yeah, there's lunch provided Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. At no cost. At no cost. Um, back to the um, shuttles, uh, the walk hotels are the Omni, Glen, Home to Suites, Embassy Suites, Hyatt Place, Holiday Inn Suites, and Hilton Garden Inn. Uh, somebody is asking if the Thursday night party is indoors or outdoors. The answer is that it is indoors. It's in the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. So it's an enclosed, air-conditioned, weather-free uh, space. 
uh, dress code. Tiffany Rios wants to know the dress code. Tiffany, uh, there's no specific dress code. I would say business casual. Uh, I recommend having more than one pair of shoes that's really great for walking. And I would re recommend uh, having layers to be able to adjust to temperature changes. Um, should I bring cash with us for anything? Hmm. There's nothing on the floor or in the um, convention that you will be paying for unless there are there are concessions that will be open. So if you want coffee from a concession stand, if you don't want the lunch that we're serving and you want uh, something outside of what we're serving, there will be certain concessions open that may you may want cash to pay with cash. Uh, that's a great response, Diane. Thank you. Um, uh, somebody is asking if the exhibitor registration includes the opening night party only. Um, there, there are two kinds of exhibitor registration. There's a booth registration and there's a full paid exhibitor registration. Full paid exhibitor registration does include uh, the Thursday night ticket, which is on the second night. It also includes access to the general sessions and the education sessions and the networking events. The booth only registrations do not include all of those. The booth registrations only include that they only um, allow access to the exhibition floor and your ability to move through security. Um, is there a full map on the app so that I can plan and not run around? Uh, yes, there is. Um, Megan has uh, done a great job setting up the app. There are floor plans on the app. And I believe, Megan, shake your head yes or no, that um, the, it also will indicate where you are on the floor plan. Like uh, there, there's live indication of where you are on the map. Yeah, they haven't um, set that up yet, but that will be set up by the time the conference comes. Excellent. Thanks, Megan. Um, can you please review where the registration check-in is again? Yes. Um, there is a main entrance to the World Congress Center. There's a drive that goes up uh, to the World Congress Center. And uh, the main entrance is uh, between building A and B. As you enter the doors, uh, registration is slightly to your left and it's in a space behind the hallway, but it's really easily identifiable because there's a DJ <laughs> Uh, you just have to uh, walk in the main entrance and then follow the beats. Uh, I think I have time for maybe one more question. And uh, let's see. Are bags allowed in the convention? Uh, laptop bags. Um, yes, there are. Um, there might be places where someone might ask to see what's in your bag, um, but yeah, you can bring bags. I would not bring a bag to uh, the Mercedes-Benz Stadium for the opening party. I think that's, um, that you can if you want, but it's going to slow down your entrance. Uh, the stadium is debuting some new um, security equipment that um, uh, does detailed scans of people and walking in large groups. Uh, it can, you can move through it very quickly, but bags will slow you down for the party. Um, is there a taxi and Uber area at the convention center? Yes, there is. That is in addition to the, uh, the, the buses that we're providing, the shuttles, uh, and there is clear indication uh, for rideshare pickup space. All right. I think I'm out of time. Um, I hope that I've answered most questions. Uh, I'm so excited to see everybody in Atlanta. Uh, my team and I have been working for the last 12 months uh, to prepare this experience for you. And we're really excited um, to see it come to fruition. But most uh, importantly, we're um, excited to see you come and engage and learn and enjoy. Um, thank you, everybody, for coming uh, and tuning into our webinar, and we'll see you in Atlanta. Thank you. Bye-bye.